Hi everyone, welcome to Discovery Natural. Today I am doing a collaboration with Maz777 Naturals. She's a lock natural, so she has locks in her hair and she has had locks for 16 years. So when I tell you that if ever I get a lock question and I don't know much about locks, I always contact her and it is amazing for me to do this collaboration with her. So today she's going to share with you how she went from loose to locks. So if you're interested in going from being a loose natural like I am and you want to go to a lock natural, keep watching. So people always ask me how did I start my locks how did I go from natural hair to locks well it was simple really um, I used to have my hair in braids before I had locks and my hair was natural obviously underneath the braids and I just got a bit fed up with the braids because I used to braid my hair myself and um, yeah so it was in that protective style for a while I sort of went from cross between braids and did I have weave? yeah I've had weave as well yeah so um, anyway so I transitioned from the braids took out the braids and then my hair was quite long I'll try and insert a picture it was kind of like in an afro puff. And I used to do two strand twist. And back in them days, there wasn't really anything around as like what would teach you about how to have locks. So it wasn't really that popular back then. Um, as the years went on, and I did a lot of research. I used to watch lots, lots of these videos, lots of YouTube videos. And I think then it was Chester Locks, Jasmine Rose and Bronze Goddess were the three main people that I used to watch regularly. And um, I just used to admire Locks and I, because I've done everything. I've had relaxers, I've had weave, I've had plaits. What else have I had? Um, my hair's been bleached, like all over, bronze. And yeah, I just wanted a change. I had my hair out natural for a while, but I just got bored because I just felt it's just too much to look after it at that time. But now there's lots of um, products around that cater for natural hair so it's a lot easier now I think some some parts of me wish that I had left my hair out natural for a bit longer before I lost it but because at that time there wasn't that many natural products around so anyway I chose to do locks and what I did I shaved off all my hair after I had my son, I shaved off my hair, I just went to number one. My barber Jimmy at the time, he did a nice sort of feminine cut. I try and insert another picture when it was short. And I just left it at that. I let it grow. I used to do the rub method, you know when you rub your hair to make the curls come. I used to do that and I used to put dax in my hair and I used to have these nice little tiny curls all over. And basically that's how I, I had my hair for a while. But obviously when you have your hair cut short, eventually it grows. And that's what happened to me. My hair started to grow, I didn't like it. And I said, right, I'm gonna do my locks. So that's how I started. I basically started from short shaved hair and I let my hair grow out a little bit and then I started with comb coils. So that's how I went from natural to locks. 
so what i'm going to tell you now is the process of how to do it how to go through the journey without any hiccups really number one make sure the foundation of your hair is healthy meaning just get a deep conditioning treatment make sure your hair is trimmed just make sure your hair is as healthy as possible before you start the process of installing locks make sure your hair is clean number two make sure it's clean obviously but you'll be surprised some people they think that your hair has to be dirty to start locks you know dirt grows your locks no it doesn't clean hair locks like clean hair and that's promotes growth if your hair is clean so number three do not overload with product do not become a product junkie otherwise you will regret it because what you put in your locks will stay in your locks so do not be heavy-handed with product i remember actually there's a when i started my locks my friend tasha started my locks she told me not to put anything in my locks what did i do i got i can't remember what it was i think it was some um moisturizer pink moisturizer squirted it rubbed it between my hands <laughs> cream put the cream all over my locks thinking i was doing a good job and that was it i ruined it like she's like no marie you should be putting anything on your locks you've got to leave it alone let it do its thing so what do i have to do i have to wash it all out and start again because if i didn't that would create build up and nobody wants build up in their locks so i washed it out and i just started it again so um yeah so that's how i went from natural to lux it's quite a simple process so if you're relaxing your hair you need to stop you need to grow out your hair so you can actually see your natural curl pattern and just be patient it's going to be a long process it takes time rome wasn't built in a day and there's no quick fixes well there actually is a quick fix which is lock extensions but eventually you're gonna to have to take them out and you know continue the process so yeah don't be discouraged it takes time but it's a beautiful journey to be enjoyed you just need to just be patient so that's the end of my video thank you for watching really appreciate you all especially all my new subscribers thank you for subscribing to this channel keep watching because i've got some good snippets videos coming up for you so stay tuned for that do like comment share subscribe for those of you who are not subscribed to this channel subscribe press that subscribe button i've got some good videos coming up and do comment in the boxes below i like to connect with you all just comment whatever any questions you may have about starting locks just drop them in the comments box below so as i always say in my videos stay blessed stay beautiful and stay uniquely you and i will see you all in my next video thank you for watching